Those who witnessed the horror are still trying to process it. Alexandria Hoff is live at Philadelphia International Airport. She spoke with some people who just arrived back from Las Vegas. Alex, what they have to say? Well, first of all, Jessica, you know, being a reporter inside of a crowded airport, it can sometimes be a challenge to pinpoint exactly who is who. But as planes return from Las Vegas, those who attended the concert last night stood out as exhausted broken and confused by the fact that they were able to return home when so many others will not be able to. Now, Steve Gold is one of those people. He was at the Route 91 Harvest Festival on the Strip last night when rapid fire sh shooting sent the crowd of over 20,000 into a panic. Now returning to Philadelphia this afternoon, he described how blood immediately stained everything around him. Gold says the first thing he did was call his mom just in case. He said he escaped injury holding the hand of a stranger after taking cover in a taco stand, then using a bike rack turned on its side to scale a tall fence before finally finding refuge in a casino. There's people just sitting on, on the, the casino floor um, and some of them are crying. This poor lady next to me, she goes, I know my boyfriend's dead. I just know it. He didn't make it. I was there all weekend and it was a three-day event and it had to end like that. Is this something you were ever going to get over? I don't, I don't know. I, you know, the whole plane ride home, I would just sometimes just, you just start crying, you know. Why did this happen? He says his biggest takeaway in all of this was the courage and compassion he witnessed, describing at one point a series of pickup trucks racing past him with injured people piled onto the back, those drivers taking it upon themselves to bring those people to the hospital. Reporting live from Philly International, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.